Mademoiselle! Wait, senorita! Wait! Isn't senorina Spanish? Yeah. So why is he Aqua. saying that? No idea. In fact, Tara. what country is this supposed to be in? Tara. No ben idea. Well, they home. speak in... Br they, what? Most of them talk with British accents. So I, I guess he left to go find you. Do you have any idea why? No. Do they? Actually, well, uh, the the Cinderella characters. Most left, of them talk with British accents. I should have listened to what he had to say. I should have huh. listened to what he had to uh, say. I don't remember. Oh. I haven't seen the animated one in a long time. So, did you manage to locate Master, so, Master Zaynor? But it seems he's looking for no. But it seems he's looking for pure hearts filled with light. Pure hearts. Okay, that's another pure weird little detail. That doesn't make sense. All I can tell you is that his search he has just taken left. here. And yet they're already yeah. treated like he just finished his world already. I'll stay and see yeah. His first yeah. World. And she just got okay. there. Okay. The prince is in the ballroom ahead. He might have some answers. Thanks. Aqua. You still have the same dream? Well, yes. There's this girl here. Her name is Cinderella. She made me realize how powerful it is just to And he believe. already met her and dealt with her stuff. No yeah. matter how impossible things seem, a powerful enough dream... Maybe he's just really fast to compared to Aqua. He's the slowest. Yeah. Really fast in space. If you see her, give her my thanks. Will do. Bullshit! I said bullshit in a really stupid right. way. You won't give into it. All right. She Aqua. even runs like she's holding her keyblade. Look at her. Look at her arm. It yeah. Looks like she's holding her keyblade right now. Look, look at it from from the front, from the back. See, does yeah. it look like it? It does. At least with Sora, like, he has different animations for what he's running. That's right, cartwheeling upstairs. Hey, if you can do it, you can do it. Good, because I thought you were going to walk away. I was like, don't get it. <laughs> My OCD will kill you if you don't know do it. I don't know, I have really bad OCD, but I've never gotten OCD over the stickers. I haven't collected any of them yet. Once you get one, it's like, I need to get more. I collected all of them. They give you bonus stuff. What? What is this? What is this? What is this? I can see through, but it won't let me go. It's an invisible wall. Don't, I don't you like know? It. Britain is famous for their invisible walls. Of course I know about the British invisible walls, Jacob. How do you think they beat China? Did, did Britain ever go to war with China? I don't know. No, Alright, that was World War XIV. Oh. Okay, we're doing our retro gameplay of Kingdom Hearts. Who are those ladies? Retro game. Oh, because you said it's World War XIV. Yeah, so we're obviously in the future. We're not supposed to tell people that we There's already had 37 world wars. wrong about them. You came back. Huh? Oh. My apologies. I was mistaken. Your Highness, I found this on the palace stairs. A glass slipper. One drop by a lovely young lady, and I'll search far and wide to find One the wrong step and your belongs. foot is fucked. <laughs> of course not. Like seriously, who wears a glass slipper? Yeah. And in the new movie, they make they like after she gets like the new stuff or whatever, she's like glass slippers and the and the fair godmother is like I find they're very comfy. It's like No <laughs> Speaking of which, why are they discussing their government secrets right there in front of a total stranger? <laughs> Pay They're talking about the fate of their monarchy, or their monarch, monarchy, whatever. The fate of their government, and they're telling these secrets to this random chick who's just standing there. They don't even really acknowledge her. <laughs> did, did they acknowledge her? I don't know. It really seems like they just ignored her. Yeah, pretty much. Did 
She's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. secrets, yeah, yeah. Exploiting government secrets? Frozen. Really? Kingdom Hearts 3, confirmed. Well, that actually has been confirmed. Kingdom Hearts 3. Save that for half life. Hey, Spellweaver. This is, I think, my favorite of Aquas. It is fun. And then she does that neat little spin. Yeah. Wait for you, wait till you find more enemies. Oh, oh, now. Oh, that is so cool. Just like a ballerina thing. Pretty great, I love it. How does that work? How they fling the key blades around like that? Magic. Speaking of magic, did you hear about who's going to be in the next season of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Oh yeah, uh, Ghost Rider, right? I may actually watch the show for that. Here's the thing though, it's not Johnny Blaze. What? Johnny Blaze is Ghost Rider, but it's not Johnny Blaze. They're not doing the whole he made a deal with the devil thing. They're making him an inhuman. Ah! Did you see that scene where that one guy was in the alley with the fire chain? Yeah. That was him. Yeah. That's Ghost Rider. He's an inhuman. He didn't make a deal with the devil. It's not Johnny Blaze. It's some other guy. It's like, come on. And I know they're, well, they're, pro they're probably doing it to avoid controversy, because devil... Plus, they're also probably trying to avoid it because they don't want to have magic in there, but it's like, come on, guys. Yeah. It's Marvel. Look at the stuff Scarlet Witch and Vision do. I'm pretty sure people can suspend their disbelief for magic by now. Well, yeah, it's on ABC, though. It's, it's a family thing. Yeah. It's a family network. It's a family network. And then again, isn't that show like rated TV 14 anyway? Yeah. Family network, huh? <laughs> Where people get brutally murdered. ABC's been putting on a lot more edgy shows. Like they're not as family-ish as they used to be. Oh, scroll. Why does she wear such long? Oops, they even have a slight heel to them if you look at it. Yeah, they do. They have to have some sort of advantage. Maybe. I mean, they look cool. They make her look good. That's the advantage. They probably didn't want to have the same kind of garbage that Jurassic World had to go through over. <laughs> Everyone kept hammering over the high heels thing. Hey, that wasn't even... she shouldn't have been able to run in heels. That was... Oh, yeah, that's the only stupid thing in that movie. Yeah, pretty much. Really? Well, I mean, nostalgia is amazing. So. I, I liked it, but let's be honest here. That movie had a lot of stupid stuff in it. Like, not telling the people what was it, what the dinosaur was made of. Yeah. That was kind of really stupid. And you remember when the aunt, whatever, Ron Howard's daughter, like, did that thing where she, like, undid her shirt a bit and, like, tied it in a knot? Yeah. At first, I didn't know what the hell they were doing. They were like, I don't get it. But then I realized, oh, that, that's... That's the way Laura Dern's character had her shirt in the first movie. Mm -hmm. So it was a direct little, oh hey, she's doing it like she did. It's like, who cares? Move on! Oh, did you hear the theory about who Chris Pratt's character is? Uh, no. There's a theory. Well, remember the original movie, How at the Beginning? Is it the kid that the main guy scared at the beginning with the raptor claw? 
Yeah. People are saying, is that him? And so they asked Chris Pratt and the actor who played the kid. And then Chris Pratt responded with, I think it's best if we just leave that to a mystery. But the kid, the, but the actor who played the kid, they asked and he said, no, that's my character. <laughs> No, it's totally possible that if he was the kid that he scared about the raptors, scared about the raptors, and then grew up and took that to heart and learned to train raptors. Yeah. Let's not forget that Jurassic World CGI was not very good. You have, but I mean, nostalgia. So I know I'm. I like the movie. I do. It's just it's it's got a lot of stupid stuff in there. I enjoy it. It's just it's got stupid. It's got dumb stuff. I also think it's kind of funny that people are making a big deal out of a lady being able to run in high heels in a movie about recreating dinosaurs and making a hybrid dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing that seems to be exaggerated. Yep. People can suspend their disbelief for dinosaurs being brought to life and hybrid dinosaurs being made that have all these crazy superpowers, but the minute a woman runs in high heels, mm, 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 no, I don't think so. I can't do that. You can, but you need the double jump. Yeah. I mean, have you tried to walk in high heels? Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm just saying, in comparison to all the other stuff in that movie, I'm pretty sure the high heels thing doesn't seem that far-fetched. There have been women that have been known to run in high heels. High potion, high potion. It's not an impossible task, it's just difficult. Then again, I've never done it, so I can't really speak on that. I can only cartwheel so fast. Imagine just like the enemy is like, they're trying to kill one of the princesses or whatever, and they just see, like, stop! And just this one teenager just cartwheeling the whole way there. I was like, what the hell is she doing? <laughs> 